Hello everyone and welcome to week two of the sweater season quilt along. It is a cold January day here and I'm feeling a little silly today. So I just thought I would take some sweater season stripe print fabric and um, just cozy up here. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. But today we are talking about fabric placement and cutting for the sweater season quilt along. I hope you can join us here today. All right, so if you are new here and you're just joining us, um, my name is Jennifer Long from Be So Inspired. Um, it's a lovely, bright January day, <laughs> and um, we are doing the sweater season quilt along. So it's an eight-week quilt along. Last week, we did the fabric, um, what you need, the prep, all of the things that we might need for the sweater season quilt along. This week, we are talking about um, how to cut label and then just some directional things as well that you'll want to watch and you'll only see them in these videos so um, please do make sure that you watch through to the end um, if you are making this quilt and you want to follow along in the quilt along just go to the be so inspired website under fabric collections tab you will just find forest friends so that's this fabric collection is forest friends and you'll see all kinds of different things you'll see the sweater season quilt along as well Simply just sign up for that. It's totally free and you will get the eight weeks of um, emails every week for the eight week quilt along. So the fabric requirements are also there, which you can download. It looks like this and it will show you what you have. So um, if you're using a sweater season, um, if you're using Forest Friends fabric, you know, you could just use it just as is. If you are um, using fabric from your stash or fabric from um, maybe a different collection that you just love and you've been hoarding for a while, or one that you can see this pattern in, then you can simply just tape little swatches. This is why um, we designed it like this. So you can simply just tape swatches over here so that it's just easy to replace. So you'll wanna get the sheet and you can get this sheet for free at, um, for, at the Forest Friends Quilt Along for sweater season. All right. So we'll put the link to that in the bottom of the video also. Make sure you have your pattern. You can grab it from any shop. There's also boxed kits for this um, collection. So you can grab the, one of those. You can grab a pattern from a shop. If you're a shop, you can get order them from Checkers or through um, Riley Blake Designs. Or if you prefer a PDF, you can grab it um, right from my shop at BeSoInspired.com. Okay, so today's tips and tricks. You're gonna wanna get the pattern. The cutting instructions are all laid out at the front and do not get overwhelmed. There is um, a number of instruction of pieces to cut, but you just need to label them. So from the background, it'll say do this, 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 um, and you'll put it for, it'll say list for rows three and seven. So you'll just put those aside. You can make different um, labels. If you want letter labels that are like forest friend labels, we have those. Um, also like this, um, and that's a free download. When you buy the pattern, it'll show you exactly where to get them and all of the things. So that you can download if you want, you do not need to have them. So uh, Jesse, you're just gonna go through this week and cut through all of these things, but I do wanna talk about directional prints. So on the cover of the pattern, I'm just gonna zoom in and show you here. Okay, so on the cover of the pattern, just take a look at my scarf. So. Um, the fringe on the scarf here is actually um, pieced. So those are just small pieces, you know, pieced together in strips. But the scarf itself is just a solid fabric. And um, if you can see, it just has that uh, striped look to it because I used this print and cut it with the fabric. So you'll just cut it like this. You'll just cut a piece like this. So a small piece like that, whatever size it says to do. And this is your scarf. So the scarf is actually like this, and then you'll put your fringe on here. So that's one important note. Um, and the pattern was designed like that on purpose. So you only need like width of fabric strips for this print, but you can use any stripe or you can use any print if you want to. Um, and that's just one note that I really wanted to make sure you're aware of for the scarves. For the hats um, or the sweaters, or the, yeah, the hats or the sweaters, you're using the Argyle print. 
if you're using this print. So you're using this print. And um, again, so, you know, there is really no right or way. There's just, you know, four ways for this print. So you can go any which way that you want to for, for this one. So you don't have to be quite as, as concerned about it. But if for some reason you're cut, what you know, you know me, if for some reason your cut wasn't cut exactly straight in line, then you might want to just straighten it out with the um, with the design and not necessarily with the grain. So you can see that I've done that to the bottom here. I've lined it up with the grain. Actually, this came this way, I'm pretty sure. It was printed really straight, but it can happen sometimes, especially if you're washing, if you pre-wash your fabric beforehand. Um, I don't, but if you do, then you know you might just need to like straighten it out a little bit first. So that's one thing to think about when you're cutting. The mitts, you will need to think that um, also the direction that you're cutting your fabrics if you're doing the little cuff bands with the stripe prints. So you can see my cu my cuffs on my mitts. Oh, those would make cute Santa mitts, wouldn't they? Okay, that's a nice, big, good, sturdy um, cuff ring there. So same thing, you'll want to have the cuts cut um, with a fabric here. So if you cut them this way, you won't get the same kind of stripe effect. So you'll want to cut your um, width of fabric strips for those. And everything else is very um, like self-explanatory there for cutting. So you don't have to, I don't want you to get too far ahead. I mean, you can if you want to, but really today, this week is all about just cutting. And I say fabric placement because I'm just talking about um, where to place your fabric. So you can see on the inside of the pattern, we also um, give you the fabric skews here and they, we list them as fabric A, background fabric B, fabric C. And that is so that if you wanted to swap out these prints for a different print, let's say you only you didn't want the pinks and you only wanted it to be blues and you wanted to have a different print in there, you can just tape them right over. So um, that's really, really fun. So there is a bit of cutting to do this week, but then we are gonna be in front of our sewing machine for each week leading up after this. And each week after this is we're doing like the hats and diamond blocks is week three, scarf blocks, those are easy one, is week four. They're all actually pretty easy. Everything is just stitch and flip. Um, week five is the knitting blocks. So we're kind of going in order here. Week six is um, the mitten blocks. Week seven is the sweater blocks and week eight is the quilt assembly. So again, I am so happy that you are here. Thank you so much. Um, if you are joining along, I would love it if you use the hashtag sweater season quilt along. Um, and it was also really helpful if you tag with the at symbol at be so inspired when you post on social media, then I can share. We can all cheer each other on. And um, you're also welcome to share um, on our in our Facebook group that's called Be So Inspired Dolls and Quilts. You're so welcome to share all all your progress there. Ask questions, show your fabric pulls, you know anything that you want there. Um, it's this that group is for you. So thank you so much again for being here. I'm looking forward to um, kind of like floating through this winter together <laughs> um, with this wonderful quilt along that we'll be doing side by side. So it's going to be a great great. Um, snowy winter here and uh, maybe it's not snowing where you are but i'm going to keep warm while i'm sewing and have some great music on and i will see you next week after we get all these pieces cut out <laughs> um i will see you next week and we'll be focusing on the hats and the diamond blocks next week okay i will see you next week thank you so much for joining me here today and bye for now